Got my bit on the side hat firmly back on, so we yeah. can get. Yes, yes, my friend. Um, okay, so we've endured quarantine and we've survived infection. In fact, the only thing that we're going to be coughing up tonight is a damn good show. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. Um, who does everybody want to see out? Jemima. 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 Is anybody saying Dexter? No. no. Oh, on his own at the back. <laughs> We'll talk about that in a little while. Um, first, though, it's time to meet tonight's panel. My first guest has come a long way since being topped by James Arthur on last year's X Factor. He is doing it for his nan. It's Christopher Maloney! <laughs> before you wreck yourself and wake up and smell the hummus. What? Because the long and short of it is, Siobhan is back in the building. <laughs> Completing our panel is the TV presenter and pop star famed for ripping off a skirt at the drop of a hat. I just hope she's wearing suitable underwear this evening. Please welcome the fabulous Cheryl Baker! <laughs> First single I ever bought was Making Your Mind Up. Yes, yes. You're genuinely. The girl. You're the I was girl. like this big. I was like, I love that song. <laughs> uh, first single I ever bought. I'm not touching your bottom. I'm grabbing my wand. <laughs> uh, okay, should we talk about tonight's show? Yeah. Let's get on with it. Uh, Cheryl, are you surprised that it was Gina who survived this evening? Yeah. Uh, if you'd have asked me a couple of days ago, I'd have said no, but now yes, because when Why? she first went into the house, everyone hated her. I hated her. Everybody booed, and I just thought, get rid of the girl. But. She's kind of... I'm warming to her and she's, she does things that are unexpected and she's kind of becoming a bit nicer. So I'm, I'm glad that she's been saved and I would have been sorry if she'd have had to have gone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about you, Lot? Are you happy yeah. that it was yeah. Gina? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know yeah. you're a Gina fan. Well, I'm delighted it wasn't Jemima, but Gina's actually growing into the show. Mm. And even though in tonight's task she didn't swallow, I won't <laughs> hold it against her. <laughs> I know we said that last night when we saw it in the news, yeah. but they, we didn't, I didn't know then that she had three um, cups to drink and yeah, but she it drank... Yeah, like was just yeah. touching her lips, I think didn't she it? did drink quite a lot but of it. But she did well, anyway. She yeah. did really well. I wouldn't like to have drank that. Oh, oh, I know. Much, um, is anybody much. surprised? Uh, surprised? Not surprised. Anybody? No, you're not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Get really confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, who thought somebody else would have been saved? That's a better way of saying it. Yes. yes. It had to be Dexter to be saved. I mean, it, the guy's got so much to offer. Gina is just an emotionless pool. That's all she is, really. I mean, you don't Do see you not anything. Do you slightly compulsive viewing? Because I still can't figure I her out. I see her compulsive in the way that I want to throw up. <laughs> That's about as much as I like. Uh, I'm not a fan of Gina, sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, Dexter's been quite quiet, though, hasn't he, for the past few days? We haven't really seen uh, very much of him. Um, Christopher, what is it like to be at the mercy of a phone vote? You, you obviously know this from <laughs> X Factor. <laughs> um, do you know, for, for Gina and for, for everybody else, for, uh, the phone vote, I mean, it must be so nerve-wracking, I mean, to be at the other end, because with Gina being obviously saved now uh, from the public vote and, you know, not to go into the, um, the eviction neck on Friday. How do you think she'll be feeling? Well, this is it. I mean, she went in there with booze and, you know, people were booing her and they weren't behind her. But I think doing this task, she's redeemed herself. So I think she's done really, really well. So I think from, from when she first went in to now that the public are yeah. a little bit behind her, she'll be ecstatic, you know. She'll be yeah. going to a different person and I'm just looking forward to seeing that the person because I don't think we've seen enough of Gina yet. Mm. I think she's a bit of a... We need to get to the bottom of, of Gina, I think. We need moment. to find out who she really is. Definitely. Siobhan is doing this with oh, a little so we got to dig. Cause... Is she a real contender now, do you think? I love her. Can I just say, I was doing weave watch from day one. When she <laughs> went in the house, <laughs> I was there with the Lion King weave, a one wear. I said, listen, I love Gina from day one. And I'm glad that she's... I, I, I knew she was going to turn it because I knew there's no way she was going to live up to that VT. And that's probably why people booed her so much. Yeah. But she did kick off with Sally. She has kicked off a little, but she's simmered down now and she's actually coming out as a relevant housemate. Do you think she's actually starting to enjoy it? Yeah. And maybe working it a little bit? 
I think I think so. I think she knows now she's been saved twice. Um, she's now going to feel like, oh, OK, maybe the public are kind of feeling me. Let me either continue with what I'm doing or she's going to vamp it up for next week. So we'll never know. OK, should we check in, see what's been happening since we left them? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and on Friday we get to hear the public again. We get to hear normal people doing normal things. I still, I'm so skeptical. But we're not cheering. Real, like it just doesn't sound right. Do you think there's going to be another twist? No, because I have seen stuff before that is they say the live. Is it Wednesday they always give the twist? Was it last week they say? Yeah, it's Wednesday last week. Another Wednesday twist. Yeah, it was Wednesday. Wicked like, Wednesday. Yeah. But we're all going to start getting yeah. used to Wicked Wednesday, yeah. as you put it. Now. Yeah, but then when you get used to it, they'll do it. 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 As I said at the end of the show, she is just a happy little bunny, isn't she? I've never actually seen her that happy in two weeks, I don't think. Um, in the words of Siobhan, this shit's going down. Word. <laughs> uh, Downtown. Cheryl, are we going to see different behaviour from her now, though? Oh, as, I mean, as Siobhan kind of just said, you know. Yeah, we just did. Even, yeah. even that, she looks so much happier. And I think, I think she must know now that people are actually getting to like her, yeah. even the rest of the housemates, you know. She's, she's proved herself to them, that, she, you know, she's, she's looking after them as well as herself. And I think we're seeing more of her. I think she was, she's been acting, like they all act. Yeah. But she's, been, she's really been acting from the beginning and she's kind of becoming more of herself now and we're mm. seeing the real, the real her. And I'm liking her. I'm liking her a lot more now. She's very entertaining. She is and, entertaining, you know, and that's what it's all about. That's we what lost makes Sally, a good program. who was a massive character, and, and we still have one in there, which is which is lovely. And we know that she's going to survive another week, which is, yeah. I think, quite nice. Uh, Siobhan, what did you make to that, please? Well, <laughs> by boo boo. Um, I, uh, you know, I kind of tuned out with Dexter's plea. I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really too invested in it. I actually think Jemima genuinely does want to stay. But I right. think Dexter wants to stay just for his ego. I think he, it would devastate him if he comes out in week two. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just said it. Who? Nah. 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 Yeah. yeah. No. Why no? No, De Dexter seemed genuine, yeah. Yeah, and to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she ran out of words because she knew it was going to come up and she just didn't have the words to, to back herself up. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I sometimes feel quite sorry for Dexter as yeah. well. Like, yeah. I kind of see that little boy lost sometimes and go, know, is he really there to find friends because he hasn't got any? They're I... not bitching at the minute. Even the twins, they're like bitches too. They're bitching on Dexter. They're jealous of him. Simple as that. That's really? I oh, I like the twins as well. Don't tell me they're bitches. I can't handle it. <laughs> uh, the twins are lovely. Um, Christopher, out of the two of them, out of Jemima and Dexter, who can turn it around in the next two days to go in their favour? Can either of them, do you think? I don't think Jemima can. I really don't. But I really I hope that Dexter can because I really want, it, want him to stay in. I mean, I really yeah. hope that he can. <laughs> Entertaining and, and you know he's a, he is a little boy lost, but you know he's trying to find himself in there. I think I don't know whether he Shadow's got it, thinks that he's acting, but I mean I, I, he's very entertaining. I mean he, he, you know he makes me laugh. But Jemima, Jemima dug her own grave. She, she, she said did. she did, yeah. She was Didn't she? It, she uh, it was very funny last night when she said, "Oh, oh it's all right that I'm up, you know. I think the public like me. I'm, do you know, I'm going to be really nice this week." And half an hour later she was. <laughs> 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 and uh, very quickly, <laughs> down the panel, who would, <laughs> who would you like to see go? Yeah. Who, who would like to see go? Yes. Jemima. Jemima. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like I've got to say Jemima now because there's no one with me for Dexter. <laughs> so I'm going to say Dexter. I'm on my own. <laughs> who are you yes. agreeing with? No. Jemima. And the man back there on his own saying Dexter. Uh, thanks so much. That was wonderful. Join me after the break for plenty more juicy Big Brother exclusive. Plus, Judy James Ooh, yeah. is back Ooh. to dissect our housemates' yeah. body language. But first, we've just seen Gina be saved from this Friday's eviction, which means Dexter, G Jemima? G we just think Gina su survived. <laughs> which means Dexter or Jemima. There's so many names. Uh, gunning for survival. Remember, you are voting to evict. Who goes? You decide. <laughs> What was that about? What is the ma, 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 ma. Anyway, uh, would you like some exclusive house action? Yay! Yay! I, I don't reckon you'll go. Well, I didn't. Th I thought I didn't think I would. Um, 
What's his name? Like tonight, I, I thought it was going to be me that was would stay, but trouble is, is that we it's, it's been a bit unfortunate because we had like the week where we didn't have our clothes. Yeah. Then we had the week where like the last two days I've been locked in a room. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it ha hasn't really portrayed the best image of me right now. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. And celebrations. How exciting is that though for you? That's wicked. It, yeah, it's, it's quite shocking that people actually don't mind me, really, on the outside, you know? Because obviously if they hate me, then they'll vote me, to vote to evict. So I must be doing something right. I guess kooky, I'm just being myself. It's the kooky. It's the kookiness. Kooky. It's the Embrace kookiness. it. Embrace the kookiness. Oh, my oh, God. <laughs> So there you have it, another prime example of housemates being lost for words. Never, ever going to happen in that house with Gina. Uh, but we are not interested in listening to their chat at the moment. No, we want to talk body language and hear to tell us what they're really thinking. Please welcome the wonderful Judy Jane. <laughs> OK, so tonight we saw yes. uh, Gina saved from eviction. Yeah, and how badly did they all want to stay in? Did you notice did, they're breathing they? this week? Real shallow, hyperventilating yeah. breaths going on. You talked on about there. her breathing last week. I well, did, but all you? three of them tonight, when they knew that they'd got to go up, they were, they, I've never seen actual... It was subliminal signals, but um, fear, stress, pressure, they really want to stay in, all three of them. Do you think the other two were surprised that it was Gina that got saved? Yeah. Um, Dexter did his usual poker face, but you could see him having to reevaluate how he's going to work this one. But I think Jemima was absolutely, you know, slapped in the face. I mean, oh, and sound effects. Uh, really, Someone really. Someone just dropped something over someone there. Someone just slapped Sorry, Jemima. Sorry, you're hearing <laughs> yeah, sound um, effects of slapping. <laughs> She was, um, I, I think because she hadn't been up before, I think she just assumed she'd breeze through it, and uh, obviously not. No. Uh, what did you make of their pleas? Um, Dexter was actually quite nice, wasn't he? He didn't say anything rude about Jemima, but Jemima really got quite verbose. Do you think that's because he learned after last week? Yeah, you I know mean, when he said, you know what, I'm going to put it out there. It was me that said that about you, Dan, and everybody yeah, kind of turned against yeah. him, didn't they? Either he didn't listen to the question um, properly, or I think he's a bit more politically worked out that if he does the nice Dexter, if he does that little boy that we all know is in there somewhere, yeah. I think he's quite likable, but. Um, Jemima's face, she did a load of denial gestures afterwards, so she did all this sweet stuff for the camera, and then her face went like a bag of spanners. Did you see it? It was like all sorts of horrible thoughts going on. I mean, she was really angry that she was up for eviction. Uh, so it's been, I think, fair to say, it's been an eventful couple of days, hasn't I, it? I, I would agree with that. It's been an eventful <laughs> couple of weeks, to be fair, but the last couple of days we've had uh, Hazel and Charlie's row. Um, obviously, the root of the argument is an extremely sensitive issue, um, but your interested in the way they made up, yeah. aren't you? We've got a little clip. Let's have a look first. Charlie, come here and give me a huggle. <laughs> <laughs> that look. A huggle is a cuddle and a hug. I'm not upset with you at all. Okay. So, body language, what's happening there? What, do, what does that tell you? <laughs> this is the new power couple that I'm calling Dazel. I mean, if you look <laughs> at the power signals, we've got, they're twinned with their body language, Dan and Hazel. They're um, looking regal, actually. They've gone from being uh, possibly father figure in the house to suddenly the two of them mirrored body language, equally beautiful, and she invited her to come over and apologise. And they're sitting high as well. Now, these are all very strong power signals. And although they gave her a nice hug, I think they're beginning to look a little bit as though they're sitting on thrones. They're looking a little bit special. Um, very, as I say, very beautiful, but that's actually going to cause a bit of controversy with the rest of the house. I love what you see that we don't see. <laughs> I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, let's talk about groups yes. within the house. For you, it's the adults versus the babies. Yeah. So who, um, who are in, who's in each group? I mean, you've got Daddy Dan and you've got Mummy Jackie um, in the adults, and then you've possibly got Hazel sort of squeaking into that one as well. But I love the babies. You've got the, uh, you've got the twins. You've got Sophie, you've got Sam, and possibly a little bit you've got Wolfie as well. But they're really very safe at the moment because this... Um, we spoke about the pseudo-infantile thing last yeah. week. Because they're being very cute, they're being very fun, nobody wants to attack 
them. Um, but I think they've got teeth of their own, and I think they're beginning to fight back, but at the moment, really safe, because anybody that attacks them is going to look quite bad. OK, who's got the sharpest teeth? <laughs> Well, Sophie, at the moment, I love her. She's, she's, very, she's very fun. She's got that lovely little voice, but I think she's got quite a warrior in there as well. I love that. OK, prime example. In the diary room, talking about Dexter. Let's have a quick look. I think it is all right, but like, I wouldn't say we're going to be the besties of friends when we get out of here. And that's, personally, that's me, me to Dexter. I don't think I'm getting on very well with Dexter. Like, I'll lend him my makeup when he wants to use my makeup and whatever, but I don't think I'm getting on well with him compared to some people I get on with. So, so, didn't we just have another bang then? I can't. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Um, what, what does that, what does her body language there tell you? Uh, she does this, I mean, she's quite submissive with her body language. She's curled up. She doesn't look aggressive, but she's got a look of absolute disgust on her face. Did you notice when yeah. she's talking about Dexter? She really doesn't like him. And then she starts to use this kind of dismissive gesture as though she'd like to take active steps to get rid of him in the house. Swat him away. Swat him away. And then she starts miming stabbing as well, so I think Dexter needs to watch out. That, and that is not good, and that look of disgust. <laughs> or all poking, in all. poking, even, yes. Yeah, so. All in all, she's not a fan, then. I don't think so, no. <laughs> um, now, you talked about Dan and Hazel uh, forming quite a powerful... Dazel, yeah. Uh, Dazel, sorry, alliance. Uh, you have picked a clip of them from uh, the live feed on Monday, is this right? Yeah. OK, let's take a look. Do you know who I've started to really like? Mm. Jemima. She's grown on me a lot, you know. She's really grown on me, yeah. I can't lie. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say, oh, I love you, girl. Wow. <laughs> oh. Come on, Jack, let's have a cuddle. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 so what's... <laughs> it just looks like a big pile on to me, but do you see anything different? I just love it. I, again, you've got this power couple separating from the house, so they're like very intimate body language as well. They've done this twice, laying down together, heads very close. They're not bitching about people, but they look as though they might be, so you might call, feel quite threatened if yeah. you saw them doing that. And, and so the babies want to break them up, and up they come. I mean, they crush them, don't they? Yeah, and I know that's quite jokey, but I'm surprised Hazel's still got her ribs in one bit at the moment. But it was this crushing going on, and it, it does make them laugh, but at the same time, it was a bit of a scrum to attack them. I think they want them back. They don't want them to bind too close together. And I think if Daisel do do that, then I think they will find themselves probably pitted against some of the other members of the house, like Jackie and strong leaders like her. And who would win? I wouldn't like to say. I think Jackie, apart from her little collapse tonight, I think that she's quite tough. I mean, she yeah. can dance as well, can't she? So no, She I... sure can. <laughs> um, and finally, let's just touch on Wolfie. Um, is there more going on there than meets the fly? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Hello, Wolfie. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, I da do, Daenerys, but don't spoil the, uh, the, the, the mother of dragons, yes, you know, yeah, when yeah, she yeah, went into yeah. the flames, bleached hair, yes. vulnerable, comes up, dragons on either shoulder. Wolfie's doing the same thing, but she's channeling flies and bees, you know, <laughs> this, is, this is her power base. And I don't know if you've noticed, she always talks to them. Why does she talk out loud? Because I don't think flies speak English, but she has to do it out loud. And I think for me, that means that she's trying to prove that she's got this little secret power base of the flies. And every time somebody upset her, upsets her, B seems to go for them in the garden. Have you That's know? really true. Have you noticed that? <laughs> and she just yeah. sits there eating food like I knew that was going to happen. So I think she's uh, mother of flies. Judy James, thank you so <laughs> much. Judy James. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, what's the right person saved tonight? BBI wants to hear from you. That's right. Uh, we've got a poll live on our website right now simply asking... Was the right person saved? Yes or no? So head over to channel5.com slash bigbrother to vote and I'll let you know the result at the end of the... What are you doing, Ian, to? Get back to work! <laughs> Sorry, Emma. Back to you. Look at Ian doing bits all on his own. Who does he think he is? I can't believe it. Uh, OK, so last night we saw comedian Matt Richardson make his bit on the side debut. Now, we've only had him in once and already he's starting to throw his weight around. Ba, 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 ba. Hello, 
I'm Matt Richardson, stand-up comedian and Big Brother super fan. When Big Brother called me and said, Matt, can you come down and bring some fresh ideas to Big Brother Secrets and Lies this year? I jumped at the opportunity, like Nadal trying to win a Wimbledon title, which, well, he, he can't do because he's been knocked out in the first round. Right, first stop, task team. Yes. <laughs> These are the tasks that I think we should be doing. You need to appeal to a different audience. So we've got dance fans, conga line for a week. I'm glad you're feeling it. Hold your breath all day, you know, some danger. No loo ever. Hilarious, they'd be huge. This is my favourite one. Eyes shut whenever they walk anywhere. They can only look at each other if they're static. I really think you should be doing at least one of these, if not all of them. What do you think? Just hard. All right, Matt. You can do this. Big Brother runs through your veins. Just believe in yourself. See, Dad, I don't need a trade. You know exactly what you're doing. Guys, never fear. Let's get the celebrities done. Who exactly are you thinking of? Who do you want? I can have anyone you want. Celine Dion. Celine Dion? Yeah, Celine Dion. We deal with your kind of, your Billy Batty end of, of things. So what, like, singers or what yeah, would you put yeah. We have singers, for instance, who have we got lined up? Bodger and Badger? Hmm, actually, Badger's pulled out. But, oh. but... Who, I could, who do you want? I, mean, I could get you Brad Pitt. I could get you, I mean, you know, Shania Twain. Mm. We pay 50 quid. 50 pounds? Mm. I could probably get you Sunita. If you could get a Sunita, we'll be delighted for the audience. Do you need her in the leaves? Yeah. Um, yes, please. All right, okay, I can sort it. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Mate, mate, you're not, you're not meant to be up here. No, no, I know, but I'm trying to help you out with your job. I'm just looking at everything like this. Look, how is that safe for anyone? That isn't even metal. Nothing, yeah? Look, no handrail. What are these? That's a trip hazard. And this, this slippy when wet. Like those, what on earth is that? Under the red. How do you know that's not a terrorist? Lying in, in wait. So. Just get out. Just get out. Fine, I'm just trying to help you. I mean, Emma needs to out, me anyway. Just get so out. I'm just going to go and see her for a script read through. Just get out. Fine. Shh. Hi, Emma. Hello. I've got some suggestions for you. OK. Have you ever thought about catchphrases? I have a catchphrase. What's your catchphrase? The public have voted, your fate is sealed. It's not good. I've got better ones, I've written them for you. Right, first one, evict and convict. Just that. No. OK. The time has come for one of you to run. Get out, you slag. Simple. Uh, we'll think about that one. OK. And this is my personal favourite. This is Big Brother. Go home to your mother. You can leave now. I'll just put them there. Absolutely. Right, see you later. Anything to help? See you later. Uh, what about the profile shots that I want to do? You don't need a profile. No, I know I don't need one. I want to do one. We don't have time. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm Matt Richardson and I do charity work. I'm 22 and I'm at the very start of my journey in life. I want to climb Kilimanjaro and own all colours of iPods. I'm all round great guy. All right, mate, chill out. I want to go into the Big Brother house so I can fuck some shit up. Welcome back to Big Brother's bit on the side. Oh, sorry. What's that? Oh, apparently I'm still infected. Really? <laughs> bit more fermented fish oh. and then it'd be perfect uh, right mm, that was quite nice <laughs> uh, so loads more to talk about from tonight's show because we haven't even started on the task yet which was I thought brilliant Cheryl what did you think of the quarantine task uh, the, the quarantine task um, I was it was really awful <laughs> <laughs> I mean it was horrible but Gina that that's that's the, what she did yeah. absolutely redeemed her you know I thought, I thought at first, oh, this is a bit silly, but it, because I'm an adult, you know, I'm so old now, that th things like that, I think, no, oh, that's stupid. My sensible head comes on. But actually, it was very entertaining. The more it went on, the more yeah. ridiculous it got. And Dan 
was hysterical. <laughs> he was such a girl. It was funny, wasn't it? Such a girl, what yeah. What do you think, it, it kind of, for me, is it kind of reminiscent of... Uh, classic Big Brother task, Christopher, because yes, was, you know, they're kind yeah, of starting to play more mind games, I think. Yeah, bit. I mean, you know, going back to basics, I mean, originality is the key, and, you yeah. know, I'm loving this year's, you know, Big, Big mm. Brother because it's it's going back to basics and it's going back to the way it used to be. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we just touched on the fact that Gina drank that awful concoction of dog food, sheep's eyeballs and fermented herring, oh, which oh, I just oh, drank live on air yeah. as well, I'll have you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she she wouldn't get it at the Savoy, but my goodness, she got it down her neck this evening, didn't she? <laughs> she I was, did, I she was, downed I was, it. I was quite, were you surprised that she drank it, Siobhan? I was, I was heaving, gagging, I was nearly going to pass out because I was like, there's no way she's going to do that. But she probably just thought, okay, maybe let me think it's an urban mojito. Maybe let me think it's something a little bit more gritty. Well, the housemates respect her more now. Oh, a million percent. Yes. Yeah. Because that's yeah. something that, one, she was upside down, that's her fear. She's drinking filth. Yeah. And they definitely probably wouldn't have thought she would have done it. But because yeah. she's up, I know that she's thinking, I really want to stay. So if I do this task, it might help me, and yeah. evidently it did. Yeah. So yeah. And, did well. uh, yeah, exactly. She probably thinks the public are going to get on board. Yes. It's like when they do the eating trial and I'm a celebrity. Normally yeah. the person that does that, they end up winning. Yeah. My husband did, and that's what happened. <laughs> anyway, um, second to be cured <laughs> this evening, uh, we saw Dan. Dan was cured. Um, was he the right person to be chosen? Yes. Yes, yes definitely. Oh, yeah. 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 For goodness sake. Initially, I thought... He's not going to be scared by anything, you know. He's no. an ex-copper. He's going to be absolutely fine. He gave us a whole Broadway production. Okay, we had. He yeah. was the cast. He was the chorus. He did everything. Like, <laughs> it was fantastic because no other housemate, apart from I probably think Sophie, would have given as much dramatics. Yeah. But Sophie probably would have flipped out. Yeah. But she would have done it. But I think it was just more her They couldn't have picked a better person to do he it. He was than. fantastic, wasn't he? Yeah, awesome. Definitely. Uh, were you guys surprised no. at, uh, at his reaction? Oh, bless him. I just felt so sorry for him because I think. He believed they really were the spiders and the, the, yeah. the, the mouses. I, I, oh, bless him. I thought he was going to have a heart attack. I know. Bless him. But he's so butch, you wouldn't have expected him to sort of go with that sort of like. <laughs> oh, you're. It's just a quivering <laughs> wreck. Especially. And I think program. the best one was the jelly. When they yeah. put jelly on his neck, I, 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 it's, it's been my first kind of howling, laugh out loud moment of watching Big Brother this so series. What was in the tubs? What would the jelly have been? It didn't. The leeches. They don't really look a lot like jelly, do they? But, but he's feeling it, isn't he? So he's just feeling it's slime. Mind games. It's mind oh, with his head. I would have freaked out. <laughs> um, right, from the looks of it, the housemates are loving their time in quarantine. I think not. <laughs> I was, was just finding out to say that we really can't drink this stuff. It's disgusting. Like, we're literally not going to drink it. It's vile. Why can't you drink it? It's because it's absolutely disgusting. It like, plays havoc with all of our bellies. We're just not doing it to ourselves. We need like proper, substantial food. Because like being locked in here, like we all feel like wasting away. I'm not even kidding. We're like, sorry to be really idiot. naggy, but we've been in here 24 hours and we've had half a tub of rice. <laughs> That's a bit of a joke. <laughs> Your medicine does contain all the nutrients required. Oh, yeah. yeah, but we literally cannot drink it. Like we're not drinking it. <laughs> so like I think you need to give us something else because we're not drinking it. Your medicine does contain all the nutrients required. Last time I drank it, I, it played. We it weren't great downstairs. I'll go if like literally, if like, if we're go? not going to drink, we're going to go. Like we're just going to quit. If we're like, if we're not going to get proper Stop substantial food, we're done. Because I'm not playing this stupid game anymore. Uh -huh. I'd rather fail the shopping task. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'd rather fail it all. That stupid game is Big Brother, which you wanted to be a part of. So get on board, do the task, and try and win the money for the shopping task. Yes. Huh? You're going. <laughs> He's gagging to get in there. Uh, would you like to know what's in the drink that they're having to drink every morning? You would. Uh, there's such a hoo-ha over nothing. So there's a protein shake mixed with aniseed, peppermint and food dye. That's it. Oh. And they don't want to drink it. They don't know that, obviously. They probably think there's loads of other things in there. Fish oil and dog food. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Now, uh, this is the first time that we've seen the housemates properly separated. Um, Christopher, should we see more divisions, do you think? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Siobhan, you had divisions uh, oh. in your year. You were separated for, for quite a few tasks. Um, what kind of effect does it does it have on you? It, well, uh, in terms of being a housemate, it, it, it makes it actually worse because sometimes you're segregated with people you actually don't like. Yeah. You do get a bit more paranoid, especially because one half of the house has been treated good and one's been treated bad. So subconsciously, you actually hate 
<laughs> they hate the ones that are not in quarantine. And it, rightly so, because obviously you're, you're paranoid in there and being separated is just actually going to make it even worse. The bitching is probably going to get a bit well, worse. That's so. what Dax, Dexter said when he first went in. He said, I'm in here now with everybody that voted for me yeah. to yeah. get evicted. So. Yes, yeah, like living with snakes. Yeah. Yeah. So it just makes it really yeah. uncomfortable. And we've seen Charlie put her foot in it again this evening, but this time with her mother when she said she looked ill and frail. Frail. Oh. It's been two minutes. Cheryl, how do you feel if you're in that house with your daughters and they said that to you? Do you know, I'd feel terrible because I think if they said I looked ill and frail, and she does, let's face it, <laughs> I'd... Uh... <laughs> Cheryl! No! <laughs> I'm just looking at her then. Just looking at her then. They need to get her out of that quarantine because she... No, actually, she yeah. looks like she needs to go into quarantine. <laughs> she does I'm not being bitchy. I'm saying she looks... No, shut up. I'm not no, being bitchy. Okay. She looks what her daughter says. She looks a bit ill and frail. And if my kids said that to me, I think they'd mean it, and that would choke me. I'd think, oh, no, I'm in and fro. <laughs> well, she's... funnily enough, we've got Cheryl's kids in the audience this evening. <laughs> so, uh, this is Kayla and this is Natalie. Thank Hi. you for coming this evening. Would you ever say that to your mum, even if you thought it? See, you don't know, cos looking at, like, what's going on in the house, it might slip out, cos, you know, <laughs> when, when tension rises and everything, but I think... It's good to have that mother mother daughter relationship. You're always going to protect that person. Yeah. So I don't think she meant it like, Mum, you're looking it was a bit more rough. Of a concern yeah, like, like Mum, you're looking a bit rough. You're right. Would you like, ever go in there with your mum? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No. What's wrong with it? Yeah. No, not no. For, for me personally. No, when you're when you're in there, I think if you're in there with your mum, I wouldn't look out for me at all. I'd constantly be like, so, You're all right. Like, what's going yeah. on? I'd, you, and that shouldn't be the case. Like, I think it's it's wrong for to have that relationship in there because you're always going to be thinking as a pair and I think to survive in this you have to be like fully Individual. on your own like I need to win. Well, Sorry Nat, would you like well, to say <laughs> well, clearly Natalie's the really quiet one. Um, thank you all very much, thank you. Um, so, I try my best but I just can't keep it going any longer. Here's time for another exclusive. <laughs> Patient 04 and patient 08, you have been selected to receive an antidote to the virus. In order to be able to synthesize the antidote, Joe and Charlie will have to shave off a strip of hair to use as a DNA sample. <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> <laughs> So you're going too deep in. You need to cut from the top at first, then you go down. Look, you're going too deep in. <laughs> I can feel my hair being ripped out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I feel bad for you. Right, I'll have a look at her. Don't hate me. I don't hate you. I hate your brother at this point. I don't know where the out now. Oh, God, is that my skin I can see on the top of my head? Mm. Oh, God. Is it actually? What? Move. <gasps> <laughs> you must be fucking joking me. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right, sorry, I was just watching that. Um, I'm here in the phone, being ready to take part, um, to ready to take uh, <laughs> part in the show where you get to sound off about all things Big Brother. Um, you can give compliments, you can give questions, ask questions rather, you can complain about the him uh, or anything to, to do with Big Brother. So who's on line one? <laughs> Uh, we've got Caprice from Bradford. Caprice, are you there? Hi, yes, I am. How you doing? What would you like to talk about? Um, I'd like to talk about Gina. Oh, my God, didn't she take it for the team today? It she was certainly amazing. did. The challenge was completely amazing. I loved it. Yeah? And Dan, oh, his reactions were just so genuine. That is exactly how I'd be. If I were in that situation and things were touching me, oh, my God, I'd be screwing my head off. So we it have was a... amazing. I loved it. So we have a thumbs up for the task today. We have a... Big thumbs up. Everything up. <laughs> Good. I'm glad th I'm glad you're enjoying it. Let's move on to call number two. <laughs> We've got Siobhan from West Hampstead. Siobhan, West Hampstead. Hello. Hi, Emma. How are you? Very Hi. good. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Especially now I know Gina's been saved. Thank God. <laughs> oh, really? Another Gina yeah. fan? Yes, I love her. But I think that this year, Big Brother hasn't been as hard as I thought he would have been on then. Now, In what way? Why? Well, those who broke the rules about talking about nominations, four hours in that prison, I don't think that was hard enough. I think it should have been four hours and then spring it on them that they were all up 
addiction and that would have really shocked them. Oh, it would. That's very harsh as well. Or, you know, I mean, even if they don't face eviction, give them 24 hours in jail. Yeah, I wanted to see them crying, yeah. like, in tears, banging on the wood to get out. Drive them crazy. Wow, Siobhan. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I know what you mean. I think I'm glad. I do think it's tougher this year than it has been in recent years. Um, but And I'm glad that there is at least a jail, which we haven't had for a while, and uh, yeah. it is being used, at least, yeah. rather I want than... It to see, I want to see it used more frequently as well now. OK, maybe you need to come and get a job on Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'd love to work for you guys. Uh, look, thank you so much for calling. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Who's next? We have Adam from Nottingham. Adam from Nottingham, are you there? Hi, Emma, how are you? I'm really good, how are you? Good, good, I'm fine, thank you. Good, what would you um, like to talk I just about? Wanted, I just wanted to bring back um, the vote to evict to the table. Do you really think it's working this year? Because um, to me, it seems to be giving the other housemates like a tactical heads up on who might go. Um... I, think Big, I think Big Brother needs to intervene a bit and maybe lead them to believe that's what's going off and then mix it up? What do you think? Uh, I think it's always a tricky one because, you know, originally it was always vote to evict. Then when it was changed to vote to save, there was a big hoo-ha because everybody wanted vote to evict. Uh, now we've <laughs> changed it back to vote to evict. Everyone is up in a hoo-ha again because they want vote to save back. So, um... Uh, I think if you really don't like someone, uh, then vote for them and they'll get kicked out. And if you, if it was right to save, you would vote for the people that you really liked and, and they would stay. So is there much yeah. of a muchness with either, really? Yeah, I just think they've given the, the actual housemates a bit of a heads up because they know on Wednesday that it's vote to evict. So therefore, they're going to put the people up that they think the people are going to vote for. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense, but I think it can make sense the other way around as well. It's a tricky one. But I can't do anything about it. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> They've given okay. me the main show, but they're not listening. Um, thank more, you so much. More of, this sort of, more of this sort of task as well, because that was brilliant. OK, good, good, Adam. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Bye. OK, coming up, we've got Lashin's more exclusive gossip. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, the show that guarantees to leave you with a happy ending seven days a week. Here's today's news. At 2.48 this afternoon, we can confirm that Jack has made a full recovery, but the virus has left its mark. Hello, Jack. This is a piss take. I've just had my head shaved off. How do you feel after this treatment? Like a fucking prick. My head's just been shaved off. What are you trying to do, mug us all off? Been in that room for over a day. No food, shit sludge. Do me a favour. Not happy at all. I look like a fucking prick. Why would you do it? Like, we're on... Like, I'm... I, I don't understand. It's a fucking fake disease. Jack, I, Big Brother thinks you did really well in completing that treatment. Of course I did well, because I just shaved my head. You're a very brave patient. It's not brave at all. It's absurd that they're still down there with no food, nothing, half a tub of rice for a day. No way. They need food. Because Jackie's not going to stay and I've not had my head shaved off for nothing, not at all. She needs proper food, because that sludge isn't doing it. She can't drink it. You just don't listen. Like, look at me. I look like a dick on national telly. Thank you very much. I'm not happy at all. I think I just want to go out. <laughs> but with Jemima's background, I'm sure she can fix it. Look what she did to Dan's hair. It looks lovely. <laughs> um, at 4.19 this afternoon, an epic love story was playing out in the house. Oh, Brigetta. Oh, Winston. <laughs> oh, stop it, Brigetta. <laughs> oh, Winston. I think you such fill me so glee. Oh, Brigetta. My <laughs> days are made ever so bright with you. Before I am like a dark pastel colour. And with you, my days are a shade of lovely bright yellow. <laughs> yellow. Yeah. 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 Lovely yeah. bright yellow. Oh, Winston. Let us elope to the green swan. <laughs> Must we elope again? Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Skippity, 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 skippity. No, stop. <laughs> We're eloping. I fathom the thought of this. What <laughs> would my heart have a Oh, Brigetta. <laughs> Let's stop in the bush and have wild sex. <laughs>
That's one love story I hope I never hear or see again. And finally, at 5.46 this evening, the uninfected housemates took part in the final shopping task challenge. Housemates, Big Brother regrets to inform you that your shopping delivery has become infected with the virus. Oh no! However, just... the shopping can be made fit for human consumption if it is thoroughly decontaminated. Oh, yes. yes, it is. Spray it in my Get it, get it. 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 The decontamination process is now complete. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 guys! Oh, my God! 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 See, the haircut was worth it after all. That is today's news. But what's happening... Thanks for those two claps. Uh, but what's happening right now, Cheryl is in the reality gallery. Cheryl, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I am. Yes, I can. Wonderful. What's going on? Well, Dan said to Dexter he shouldn't worry because he thinks he'll stay. He's wrong. Uh, Charlie suggested playing drinking games, so they headed to the garden and formed a circle. Jackie and Dan were dared to do a sexy dance together. Dan took his top off. Um, do you want more? Sam and Daly discussed yeah, how going. they think they're going to be some rivalry between Jackie and Jemima because they're the mums of the house, and I think they're probably yeah. right. Uh, Daly talked about how he found one of Gina's hairs on his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Live on telly. Whilst moisturising himself, Wolfie introduced Hazel to beans on toast with cheese, something she'd never had before. <gasps> wow. After the infected housemates were released from quarantine, Jackie said it was the worst thing she'd ever done. Earlier this evening, Gina spent time in jail for hiding alcohol, drinking lager after she was told to return it. She was not happy and called Big Brother bastards. <gasps> Cheryl I Baker, know. thank you so much. You got all of that out and you said... Bastards and balls. Oh, I no. can't quite believe it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> She's come a long way from kids' TV. Do you know what I mean, Ian? Yeah. I hope you're not going to swear. No, my little nephew's watching. Oh, well then. Yeah. I'm sorry, I hope you You should be got, in bed, really. I hope you've got your earmuffs on for mm -hmm. what I just said. <laughs> uh, what's happening in? Uh, well, we've got the result of our poll. Yes. 87% said, yes, the right person was saved. OK, good. Uh, Gina's proving popular online. She's turned it around a little bit since, really? the, since the first few days. I think the task... Uh, where she did so well with the spinning around and upside down and all that. Yeah. Uh, has made her popular. Uh, Laura McCutcheon said, even though she can be annoying and whingy, I'm glad Gina's safe because there's more to see from her. Who is the real Gina, though? Who is the real Gina? That's is this another secret and lie? Is no, there a no, fake Gina out no. There? I, what she told us is is kind of what is meant to be true, but yeah. you just never know, do you? Hear all these all the speculation mm -hmm. anyway. Tom. Any more? Uh, Sunday Robson says I'm warming up to Gina now. I'm glad she's safe. But Shah Khan says the public have fallen for it again and a big character will leave on Friday. This is the worst series ever. Gina's a big character and she's staying. Yeah. Um, you want questions for nominees we as well, We do. Right? Uh, for uh, who's left off? <laughs> Dexter and Jemima. Uh, get your questions in uh, on Facebook and Twitter and Big Brother will ask the best ones in the diary room tomorrow. You just did that perfectly to time in oh, my ear. Thank you, really Ian. Cool. Uh, that's it. That's all we've got time for. Thank you for joining me this evening. Join me tomorrow where my guests will be Lydia Scott Lee, Mark Little and Made in Chelsea's Lucy Watson. Don't forget, you can catch live streaming on Five Star every evening from 7 o'clock. Have a lovely night. Good night.